Over Hubble, there's a new telescope in town. NASA calls it the James Webb Space Telescope. They just unboxed it in, in French Guiana, Guiana in engineers, preparing it for launch on December the 18th. Webb is the world's largest and most advanced space science observatory. And it really is a beast. The main mirror, around 21 feet, and the sun shield, about the size of a tennis court. Webb's payload mass, nearly 14,000 pounds. And the final cost, a staggering $10 billion. To transport the thing to the launch site, they had to build a special suitcase. No carry-on for this piece of luggage. It's 110 feet long, and the whole thing weighs about 84 tons. It took the 16-day trip on a truck, then a barge, and a ship to get from California to South America. But that's just the beginning of the journey. And CNBC's Morgan Brennan reports Webb's real mission is to travel back in time. Three decades and $10 billion in the making, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is finally ready for flight. Once in space, scientists say its powerful infrared telescope will be able to study the origins of the universe, going back to the first light created by the Big Bang. It's a kind of light that our eyes can't see, but it can penetrate through dust, and it's a particularly important for studying the earliest stages of the universe where it was very dusty, and we can learn a lot more about that through a uh, space telescope that can see in the infrared. The new spacecraft built by Northrop Grumman will succeed Hubble. It is larger and 100 times more powerful allowing it to discern faint stars and galaxies over 13 billion light years away. Webb will travel much deeper into space, too, orbiting the sun one million miles from Earth. The project hasn't been without controversy, though. Multiple mishaps, budget crises, even a threatened congressional cancellation. But most recently, issues with the name itself. After claims surfaced that the Apollo-era agency administrator, James Webb, allowed for the dismissal of gay and lesbian federal employees. NASA has since said it found no evidence to support those allegations. But for the telescope, what comes next will be the toughest test yet. A fiercely precise, complicated choreography of delicate deployment. It has this uh, enormous sun shield that needs to fold up real small to fit inside the rocket. The mirror itself also needs to fold up to fit inside the rocket. All of that needs to unfold once uh, the rocket has gotten clear of the Earth. And uh, it's very complex. There's lots of uh, parts that need to work just so. And the engineers have been working on this for years and years, testing it every which way. They're very confident that it will work and that the science will be fantastic once it does. The Webb Telescope is the latest on an ambitious deep space manifest for NASA, a manifest that also includes the recently launched Lucy mission to study Jupiter's Trojan asteroids and, of course, a return to the moon.